Russian forces lost more equipment in Ukraine in October than in any month over the last two years of the full-scale invasion, according to latest analysis. Newsweek recalls that since the start of the war on February 24, 2022, the Oryx website has tracked Russian equipment losses using still or video imagery. It says the level of proof required means the real amount of equipment destroyed is significantly higher. It is noted that the figure for last month show that Russian equipment taken out of action has spiked compared with the rest of the year and most of the war as Moscow's forces continue to make incremental gains on the front line at a high cost. Oryx's data analyzed by independent Russian outlet Agents Vo found that Russia had 695 units of equipment destroyed, damaged, abandoned or captured in October. Among the lost equipment were 253 infantry fighting vehicles, 103 tanks and 41 armored personnel carriers. There were also four aircraft comprising of two Sukhoi Su-25 and Su-34 fighter planes along with an Mi-28 helicopter. The last time it was higher was 1,032 units lost in October 2022 after Ukraine had launched a counter-offensive the previous month that led to a Russian retreat from Kherson and Kharkiv and sparked optimism at Ukraine's ability to fight Moscow's aggression. The month the Ukrainian counter-offensive started in September 2022 saw the highest tally of Russian equipment losses of 1,179 units linked to the retreat from Kharkiv. Despite the high losses, in the last month, Russian forces continue to make incremental gains, especially in the Donetsk regions, where it last month captured the town of Selidov. Vuk Vuksanovic, an associate at the London School of Economics, think tank LSE Ideas, told Newsweek that this showed Moscow's battlefield momentum. Instead of trying to gain new territory rapidly, the Russians engaged in a patient, slow, grinding campaign where they knew that their preponderance in artillery and firepower and Ukrainian demographic deficit would sooner or later result in the collapse of the Ukrainian line. Vuksanovic said, Russian forces have made their biggest advances in Ukraine in a year, capturing 75 square miles between October the 28th and November the 3rd and 66 square miles the previous week, according to Agents Vo. After the initial nine months of Russian blunders, that resulted in a catastrophic pullback from the Kharkiv area and a more orderly retreat from Kherson. Everything that the Russians have been doing ever since has led to this point, added Vuksanovic. There are higher estimates by Ukraine's Defense Ministry of Russian losses, whose figures last week claimed Russia had lost 903 armored fighting vehicles in October, the highest monthly total since March 2022. Oryx's figures cited by Agents Vo also showed that Ukraine had lost 276 units of equipment in October, including 47 armored personnel carriers, 28 infantry fighting vehicles, 21 tanks, and one aircraft. The Russian army, which is experiencing a shortage of personnel, has begun sending servicemen diagnosed with hepatitis C to the front despite the danger of this disease. This became known from a video message from a group of Russian soldiers who claim that their command is forcing them to go to the front lines, ignoring their health problems. According to the servicemen, instead of undergoing a military medical commission, they were sent to a new assault regiment, despite having a dangerous viral disease. We have viral hepatitis, and we are being sent to infect the Russian army, the soldiers said, adding that such orders endanger not only their health, but also that of other servicemen. In one of the messages, one of the soldiers said that in order to draw attention to his condition, he even swallowed razor blades, but was then punished and sent back to the front. Hepatitis C is a serious viral disease that affects the liver and can lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer. The virus is transmitted through blood and poses a threat in case of mass infection in conditions of close contact. The spread of the disease among military personnel can result in serious outbreaks of infection in the army, weakening personnel and creating additional medical and epidemiological risks. Earlier of this year, a Russian soldier from the Moscow's 5th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade has described how troops in his unit, many suffering from serious illnesses such as tuberculosis and HIV, 
were thrown into fighting on the front lines and used as cannon fodder. The man accuses his military commanders of pointlessly causing the deaths of their men with their orders. He said that many military personnel who have been called up for duty in the Southern Military District are serious ill, this includes himself who has HIV. Discord over the war's duration and intensity appears to be growing among Russian soldiers. They discuss ways to give up serving and avoid further deployment to the front line while at home civilians panic about being conscripted. For the first time, the Kremlin has provided military personnel with instructions on how to arrange and care for mass graves, which has become relevant in connection with Russia's significant losses in the war against Ukraine. According to The Telegraph, the 20-page manual titled Civil Defense – Emergency Disposal of Bodies in Wartime contains diagrams of mass graves with images of body bags arranged in several layers. The document also provides tables with detailed calculations of the resources and personnel required to prepare a burial site for 100 people. Usually burying 100 dead in one mass grave takes about 368.5 man-hours, the instructions state. The guide, which is an updated version of the 2021 document, shows a rescue worker in a protective suit next to a helicopter on its cover. Russian troops have suffered about 1,200 casualties a day this year as Moscow tries to take advantage of Ukraine's mobilization and arms supply problems. According to Western intelligence, Russia's losses from deaths and injuries could reach 680,000 people, although the only known use of mass graves for Russian soldiers was recorded in the occupied territories of Donbass. Experts attribute Russia's heavy losses to the infantry swarm tactics in which soldiers try to take Ukrainian positions using sheer numbers. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky recently reported that Ukrainian forces are facing one of the most intense Russian offensives since the start of the war in February 2022. The Ukrainian Armed Forces are holding back one of the most powerful Russian attacks since the full-scale invasion, he said. Russian forces are seeking to seize strategic supply lines before the winter cold sets in. Up to 13,000 North Korean soldiers are expected to be deployed alongside Russian troops in the southern Kursk region after Ukrainian forces entered the region in August. There is growing concern among Ukraine's allies about the outcome of U.S. presidential elections. Republican nominee Donald Trump is skeptical of Ukraine's chances and could potentially cut military aid if he takes office.